President Obama is switching up his media tactics to try to reach out to young Americans, skipping over traditional news outlets and going online. Just this morning, the president hyping Obamacare on WebMD.com. Of course, he needs young people to sign up to make his health care law work. And earlier this week, he gave an interview to the actor Zach Galifianakis for his web series Between Two Ferns. The president also ramping up his presence on social media. He has some 42 million followers on Twitter, even though he doesn't actually run the account. Judith Miller is a Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter, author, and Fox News contributor. Good to see you. You know, his critics are saying, look, <laughs> the reason he's going for the softball interviews is because he cannot defend the indefensible, which is why he's avoiding anybody who would ask tough questions. Absolutely. He doesn't want to go into the White House press car, that shark tank. I mean, Ed Henry, <laughs> he's a scary dude. He asks tough questions. Yeah. So does, you know, so does O'Reilly. He doesn't want to face those people. It's much easier to do scripted performances on Reddit or stand up with YouTube celebrities right. or, you know, do Twitter. How about Late Night with Jimmy Fallon? He was on that one as well. And it's a comedy show. And some say, you know, the president's White House policies are comical, uh, but that's the critics. And here he is yucking it up. When you look at some of this stuff, doesn't it seem totally canned and contrived? Well, it does to me, and it may to you, and it may to people who really want serious news, but young people seem to like it. I mean, look at the Two Ferns interview. That got at least 2.8 million hits, you know, people tuning in. And if you talk to the White House, they will tell you that it drove more people to the Obamacare website than any other thing mm. has done. And God knows they need it. We mentioned today he was on WebMD um, on the Internet. And... You know, here's it just crossed the wires. President Obama said on WebMD that enough people have signed up for health care to make his signature law work. Well, he's at 4.2 million, according to HHS. Didn't the White House say we got to have 7 million? Well, that was then, and this is now. Changing the <laughs> Changing goalpost. the goalpost, moving the goalpost. The president now says he can get by with only 25% of young people signing up. You know, we'll see. Eventually, the numbers will be the proof. Mm. But at the moment, we're, we just don't know. Well, 25% of the young people, I mean, that's right. not enough. I mean, the risk pool, according to insurance companies, has to, has to be at least 40% percent of young people, right? Well, I think it's going to take us a number of years to find out whether or not this program is going to work at all. I think where you know, the problem is the Republicans haven't really offered an alternative to yeah. it. They're just content for the moment to kind of bash Obamacare and hope that that'll be enough. Back sort of to our original discussion of the president avoiding journalists. Right. He's right. also avoiding photographers. For, yes. You know, we have a picture of the president, Michelle Obama, and all of the pictures of the president, most all of the pictures of the president, and there they are together, it's all coming from the White House official photographer, and instead of being candid shots, they look staged? Uh, they are staged. I mean, they are exactly the image that the White House wants you to have, and that's why 37 uh, independent journalists signed a letter protesting the increasing use of White House official photographers. You know, Greg, it's getting to be a little bit like the Kremlin. <laughs> you, can, you will see what they want right. you to see and not what the American people want to see and are entitled to see. Judy Miller, as always, good to talk to you. Thanks. Nice to see you, Greg. Jeff?